can whirlwind relationships like that ever work when you meet somebody and you get married so quickly, Nadia? Well, <laughs> Oh, you can. Uh, Mark and I decided to get married after three months and I was pregnant and up the aisle in five <laughs> months. <laughs> you were going to say that. Okay. Uh, in five months and here we are 13 years later. Wow. Um, and I think now we're stronger than we ever were. Um, but it does take a lot of work. Mm. You know, I mean, there was really, a couple of things. Did you feel you knew him when you married him? It's such a quick courtship. No, there's no way I knew him. See, I'm going to say something a bit controversial here. I think if you really get to know somebody, you probably wouldn't marry them. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that is what the is about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, interesting. So <laughs> when Mark and I got, got married, we were still in that phase where we were getting drunk and lying in the pavement seat. Yeah. We got run over and we were still in... As you do. We were still in, we were still in our romantic world. <laughs> it is a key part of that. The getting drunk bit, though. Yeah. You know, yes. getting... Cos you were both quite big oh, drinkers look, at the time, are. weren't you? Oh, look at me with my oh. breasts out. I have no <laughs> idea. Oh, look at the way he's looking. Oh, oh that's oh. love. That's yeah, love. no, we... The first minute I saw him, I was... I was... I thought he was just amazing. And it was a, it was one of those where a ping pong machine, dun, 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 not ping pong, you know that thing. Yeah, ping ball. And, uh, ping ball. And um, yes, you were right, Jane. You're very clever to pick up on that. We were drinking a lot, and um, and and that was, I think, our initial romance was kept fueled with that. As I think with a lot yeah. of people. Would you actually. say then that you've been lucky actually that you've lasted because because you know I'm just thinking because in the first three months of any relationship we're always presenting the best side of ourselves, yeah. aren't we? You know, we're not sort of really showing our monstrosities. People <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. think you're nice. Um, <laughs> so to sort of get married after three yeah. months is quite a leap of faith, would well, you agree? Well, it was, and we really didn't know each other. I mean, uh, joked now about us being drunk a lot at the beginning, and, uh, I, and it, it became clear to me after about a year and a half that Mark had a drinking problem, a massive drinking problem, and eventually he... He's so brilliant. He's such a brilliant guy. He went into rehab. He walked in himself. He asked for help and he got sober and that was 13 years ago. He's never touched another drink. But I wonder... <laughs> yeah, so proud. But in fact, that time that he was in rehab for a month and because I had to go in once a week and you have to sit in these sessions and you have to talk so openly and you had to... In you groups, to reveal, in a group yes. session. And, you know, people knew me off the telly and they'd be sitting watching me and I'd be having to say everything to him and he'd be having to say everything to me. And um, But with that, with that month of doing that, he was in 28-day programme, we, that was like 10 years of relationship because yeah. he has to be so honest with me all the time. I have to be so honest. And we had to work really hard and, and at our relationship and... You know, we had Maddie really soon into our relationship. So, in, a, in the best possible way, we had a child, so we had to make it work. We loved each other, that was for sure, but also, for me, there was no option it's that not extra to make it work. And was it, both yeah. of, was it both of you that wanted to marry? Because I can understand the whole oh, God, romance, even the drinking and the thing and the yeah. wild and lovely and romantic. Yeah. But marriage is such a big thing. I think I could do all that first bit, but if somebody after eight weeks, ten weeks went, let's get married, I think my sensible head would click Thing in. Was, we don't remember how we decided we got married. <laughs> <laughs> I remember once we had to do this article for this magazine mm -hmm. and uh, they said, and, and, you know, how was the engagement? And you're like... So we made it up as we went along. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes now we're at dinner parties and stuff, Mark will say how we got engaged, and I get home and I say, you don't know that's a lie now that you actually <laughs> it's believe. It's become your truth. It's become our along truth. The way. Did, did, did you... everybody around you, though, believe that this marriage no. was going to last? Because, you know, I can't imagine you going to your parents going, oh, we, you only known each other for mm. three months, and you... I mean, what were my your parents, reactions of your mum and dad? My parents were the most supportive because they loved him, like all my family did. But I could tell there was a lot of people that thought, Thinking, oh, this, this is, is not going to last. But what oh, you? I was going to say, what yeah, you? I Oh, friend. crikey, yeah. this lot. This was that like an extra incentive to make it You tell it me not to do well. something, I'm going to do it. So, because nobody, everyone thought it wasn't going to work, it was going to work. But, but, you know, we loved each other, yeah. so...